Madam Tanya for organizing this celebration of the coconut tree. <coughs> so congratulations. Now see, I was a teacher earlier, so when, wherever I go, I got a big point thinking that I am a teacher and all the others are students. So I would, like, I would like to ask you a small question. Have you all seen a mango on a coconut tree? Yeah. Yes. 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 You have seen. Yes. Very good. Who else? Yeah. Have you seen mango on a coconut tree? You also have seen. Very good. Raise your hands if you have seen a mango or a coconut tree. Please yes. raise your hands if yes. you've seen a mango or a coconut Mr. tree. Mission, you have not seen. You have not seen. Yes, Okay, okay, those who have not seen, those who have not seen a mango on a coconut tree. I think about half an hour back, we have seen a man go on a coconut tree. Have you seen a man go on a coconut tree? Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll say a few words about the coconut tree. In Sanskrit, it is called uh, Kalpavriksha. Kalpavitra means an ideal tree. Ideal tree, it means every part of the coconut tree is useful for man, for us human beings. Every part of the tree. I don't have to go in detail. Uh, maybe I will go a little on the humorous side of the coconut tree. Uh, see, uh, coconut tree can be misuse for your neighbor. If you want to trouble your neighbor, you can, you can misuse a coconut tree. How do we do that? We plant a coconut tree very close to our border and when it grows up, it uh, troubles the neighbors. So please don't do that. When you plant a coconut tree, plant at least three meters away from your border so it does not trouble the neighbors. The, distance between the two coconut trees you uh, plant the sapling should be around six meters so that they don't interfere with each other this one thank you so much Ipin. thank you if you have any more questions about the coconut tree or the koya industry something about how you get the koya from the coconut to make the rope okay it's a very long process uh, years back, the, in Goa, we used to have this uh, husk, sodna, coconut husk being put in salt water near the uh, uh, seaside or backwaters and uh, soaked for about uh, 10 to 12 months. That 12 months has been reduced to 10, 8, 6. Now we hardly soak. You don't find it's a very tedious process. So we directly extract the fiber from the coconut tree, uh, sorry, from the coconut husk. And uh, that is not very good fiber compared to the olden days. Uh, so now, in the modern times, we, we want everything fast. So by machine, we extract the fiber from the coconut husk. And from the fiber, we make yarn. I think that is being demonstrated here, yarn. And from the yarn, we make ropes. So the yarn is the second uh, product of uh, the hub, yeah, uh, fiber and yarn. From yarn, we make, we can have so many items like we can see here, doormats, mattings, carpets. There are many more beautiful things. And if somebody is interested, you can come to my place, which is not very far. It's about two kilometers from here. You can collect a card from there and come and see. We can also show you uh, the different products that we have. Thank you so much for telling us about the whole process. Kokan Cottage is just down the road, on the road to Holy Cross Convent. If you're going down the Sodia Road, it's on the right. They have cocoa peat, carpets, koya mats, ropes. Uh, many, many coconut products. Do stop by when you can. Thank you so much for coming today and for supporting us. There's one more item. I remember when we were small, when I was a schoolboy in a, in a village, 
we had a coconut, uh, we had a small uh, tree to cross and there is a bridge made of coconut trunk. So we used to, I mean only one at a time. So we used to cross, I mean reach half the way and then come back because it was a one way traffic. Uh, and then also balancing required on a single coconut trunk. Later on somebody put two together, so then two people could, I mean, uh, it was on, uh, no more uh, one way traffic, I can remember. Also, coconut uh, trunk can be used as a raft. Try about four or five together and you can put in the river and go rafting. Thank you so much. I have a couple of more.